Hello friends, welcome to Tech Lake YouTube channel. So I am going to start a new Spark SQL series from basics to advanced, complete end-to-end -end Spark SQL series. So this will help you for Azure Data Engineers primarily and who want to become a data science, who want to become a data analyst, who want to become a uh, BI related also. When it comes to Databricks is having their own uh, SQL analytics tool. So their side also it will help you a lot if you know the Spark SQL. So when it comes to cloud data warehousing projects or cloud lake house projects, so cloud lake house will be the feature. So you can expect more uh, at analytics side and ETL side. SQL will be the common language. So when it comes to data big side, everyone, every data engineer, every data scientist, every data analyst should have basic idea about the Spark SQL. Uh, what is exactly Spark SQL? How to write queries, how to insert data, how to upload data, or how to manipulate data. Complete SQL part, we should have some idea. So in this series, I'm going to start with the complete basics to advance. First, we will start with uh, practicing. So if you need a, uh, if like, if you want to practicing Spark, right? So we need an environment. So for that, how to create a Databricks community edition for that? And uh, I'm going to share the document. I'm going to share the code. So let's start with the first, uh, how to create a free trial. That is unlimited number of days, which you can use a community edition. Then we will move on document part so first we'll start with so if you go to databricks.com if you go to databricks.com so here you can find an option called get started for free or there is an option called try databricks so once you click on this you'll be getting this page and provide information so i have a new email account so i'm going to use this email address I'm going to use this email address. So you need any personal mail ID or professional mail ID. So personal is sufficient. So you don't need to provide any professional email ID. I'm going to give a Gmail ID. So just enter some other information, first name, last name, company, just you can enter personal title data engineer. Phone number is optional. Then you can go with country. So once you enter this information, right? Click on get started for free. So it will be routed to another page. So this page is very important. So first time when you are registering community edition, right? Don't choose these options. So there you can find a small, that is called get started with a community edition. Choose this option. If you go for this, you'll be getting a 14 days free trial. With the enterprise edition for that you need a cloud service. If you choose AWS, if you choose Azure, if you choose Google, you need an account in that particular cloud. So most of the cloud service providers, so they, they, they need a authentication, authorization, and finance part also. They need a credit card also. So you need to use a credit card even if you want to use a free trial. So to avoid that, so this will be only 14 days. So don't choose a cloud service provider just to go with get started with the community edition. So once you click on this, say this, then you'll get a confirmation, a verification window, and uh, depends on browser, it depends on network, you will get a different kinds of verification. Let's try it this. Okay, let's identify the turtle. So here it is a turtle. Now done. But when you go, when you log in in another browser so i'm using opera like if you log in google chrome google chrome you get a different kinds of uh, verification window so better to go with better to go with opera browser now just just verify that email whatever you have provided email then you will get a confirmation mail so welcome to databricks and uh, you need to click on this link to set the password as of now we we not set any password right just click on this then you need to create a password you need to create a password so set the new password okay then just click on reset password so my account is ready minute edition is ready this is the community.cloud.databricks.com 
so here you can use you can learn spark you can learn PySpark, you can learn python you can learn r you can run scala you can run spark sql you can learn delta lake just in a cloud without paying a single rupee and just you can practice all these technologies okay so anyway we are going to start with the spark sql so for that i'm going to provide i'm going to provide one dbc file databricks archive file so which is available in github so if you go to github so if you have a github account you can register there so i'm having a github account but even before github i can search i will show you so there's a repository name called PySpark telugu this is my repository so this is my account and this is my repository so there i have uploaded one dbc file called databricks spark sql just to search databricks spark sql I'll just uh, let me verify looks like uh, i'm not uploaded let's log in and i'll upload i'll first i log in here No, I think it looks like I forgot the account. Just close this. I'll upload directly from my local desktop, but that will be available. In, I'll upload later. I'll log, log in again. I'll upload the later. Just go to the Google. Just search GitHub Iceberg Telegram. So you'll get this repository. You'll get this repository here. We can find this and directly it's not coming here it is coming my youtube channel videos just repository name as ravindra tal yeah, here it is mine so you can search with the ravindra tal you will be getting my repositories so here it is a repository so there i'll upload and i'll provide the link as well okay i'll upload here and i will provide the link next so go to the workspace maybe shared workspace or user workspace or this common area just click on import so you can download the dbc file and import the dbc file just close it and open upload it yeah here is a dbc file okay so i created content complete the sql part spark sql part list of commands like any sql any database so we can divide into different operations data definition language data manipulation language data retrieval language data control language sorry data control language and transaction control language so enter any database this will be common and how to go for individually so i created separate for ddl so there you can find the list of operations for detail like create database create table alter table create view draw view drop table drop database data manipulation language data manipulation language and data retrieval language so i have created separate uh, notebooks for individual operations so we'll go one by one then if you want to run anything here so we need a compute so here you can create a cluster just to provide any name just provide any name and select any latest version or at least a lts version this is the lts version default will be lts version then create cluster so cluster will be available uh, within a five minutes so sometimes three minutes sometimes four minutes sometimes two minutes so 
so max might will take five minutes max might will take five minutes your compute will be available your compute will be available if you want to run any program right so he, you need a compute so that compute is nothing but databricks uh, spark cluster so the spark cluster will be having all pre-configured python scala java other languages so directly you can create a new notebook or you can write your own code or you can execute existing code so that that way which we can go for utilizing community edition and beginners most of the beginners they'll do mistake when they're logging again right so they'll go to the databricks.com so there is, there is option called login don't use this login okay this login is their account not a community edition okay you see this so don't use this login if you log in this you should have a at least one cloud integration azure or aws or google cloud integration so always remember whenever you're logging community edition remember this url your community edition url is different okay not this one don't use this so down you can see here shows this so so I remember once you click on sign into community edition so you your url will change community.cloud.com you see this community.cloud.databricks.com remember this url remember this url so whenever you go for whenever you go for community edition right always log in with this url okay that's the free trial so once you log in, then you can go with the creating a compute. Just I started creating a compute. Now compute is available. Let's verify how much time it is taken. If you go to the compute event log, you can find when it is started. So 250. So when it is completed. It's 252. Okay. So less than two minutes. Less than two minutes it's taken. So sometimes maybe three minutes, sometimes maybe four minutes. Max might will take five minutes. Max might will take five minutes so this way which we can go for creating databricks community edition once it is available right so then you can go for creating a cluster and then you can practice so now you can create any new notebook and choose the language default language sql my first sql so here uh, the notebook and uh, there is an option called run run this cell so default language is sql here also you can see the sql and just i'm i'll highlight the information just so here the cluster is attached here and uh, a notebook name language and uh, here also you can see the language if you want to run you can use a run all it will run if you have multiple commands if you want to run individually there is an option can run this cell and if you want to create a new cell, if you keep the cursor here, you will get a plus symbol. So if you use the cursor here, you see plus symbol. You can create n number of cells or commands. Command 1, command 2, command 3. So just I will go for show databases. So currently we don't have any databases. Only one database will be available, default. The database name is default. So there if you go to the data, you can see only one database default. We don't have any tables as well. Okay. Even if you go to the show tables, so you don't find a table. So you can execute shift enter or control enter or run cell. Multiple options are available. Run this notebook, first command to last command will be executed. Only individual command you can run, run the cell or control enter or shift enter. Control enter or shift enter. So we don't have any tables, we don't have any databases. So next session we'll understand basics database related then we will start one by one so this is first session how to create a community edition then how to import that dbc file so databricks spark sql dbc file so i will provide the link in video description so go through that link and download the file okay i will provide where this file is available dbc file download that file if you have to download that file first you should have a github so register github consider if you want to download this so 
it depends on so if directly if you are able to go through this my repository you see this my repository you can download that but sometimes if you're not able to find just go through this url we'll mention this url in video description you can go through that thank you see you in another video